Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how I created this multi-layer flower using Seru's Flower Ding that is available from defont.com and I'll leave the information on the screen. It's a fairly simple project but I just thought that at this time of year there may be new people to scan and cut and you may want to know how to do something like this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is open the new Brother Scan and Cut converter, which is here. And if you're new to my channel and you don't know what this is, go to the playlists and look in the Scan and Cut Canvas tutorial playlist and you'll find a video called Introduction to the Brother Scan and Cut Font Converter. That video will explain how to get the converter, how to install it and how to use it. Once you've got it and you open it, this is what you see. In the box here where the flashing cursor is, I'm going to type a capital W because I know that the Seru's flower ding that I want to use gives me a specific shape if I use a capital W letter. So now I've typed that, I'm going to come down here and scroll down until I find the font that I want to use, Seru's. And here it is, Seru's Flower Ding. And you may not be able to see, but it's instantly changed the W to the shape of a flower. And if I click, I'll change it to about 96 size. And if I click preview, this is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to close that and save it. I'm going to put it on my desktop so I know where it is and I'm just going to leave it with the generic name for now and I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to close down the font converter. I'm in Scan and Cut Canvas. I've got a new blank page. I'm going to come to the SVG icon and select that and I'm going to navigate to the file I've just saved on my desktop by clicking on choose file and here's the file I'm on my desktop and it's this TTF 0001 FCM that's the file we've just made using the font converter I'm going to say OK and it's going to put that flower shape on my canvas desktop and there it is now the first thing I'm going to do is resize it. So I'm going to come to the properties box and I'm going to make it 1.75 inches. I've got the maintain aspect ratio selected so it changes it in proportion. And there it is. I'll try and zoom in a little bit for you. Okay. So now I want to create my offset layers. So while it's selected, I'm going to come to edit come to the offset icon. I'm going to take it all the way down as far as it will go to the left. So it's set at 0 0.04. I'm going to leave it on outward and make sure that this box is ticked that says create an offset line only around the outer edge. And I'm going to say OK. And that's instantly given me an offset and it's the offset that's selected. So I'm going to drag that out of the way. Now while that's selected, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to back to edit, offset, take it all the way down to the bottom and say OK. And again, I'm going to drag the offset out of the way. I'm just going to zoom back out a bit and put these. OK, so with the third one selected, I'm going to do exactly the same. Offset, OK. And that's now given me four layers. So now I'm just going to zoom back to the mat so you can see. So I've got four different sizes there. The next thing I did to create the card that I'm going to make is went to the basic shapes and chose a circle. Now this first flower started off at 1.75 and we've added an offset onto each one. So the biggest one is now 1.99 inches, so just under two inches. So this circle, I think I'm gonna 
initially make 2.25 and see how it looks. So I'm going to come to the properties box, take it down to 2.25 inches and see if that's going to be big enough. And I think it will because this is going to be a dashed line actually. And then I'm going to have a bigger outline. So I'm going to right click and hit duplicate. And then this second circle, I'm going to make two and a half inches. So I'm going to come to the properties box, take it up to 2.50. This one I'm going to select and using the properties box I'm going to check cut line and then I'm going to make it a dashed line and I think I chose this one so you can now see that this is dashed this one I'm going to go to the properties box and just make it a straightforward cutting line then I'm going to put one on top of the other and centralize both of these so edit center edit middle and while they're both selected I'm going to right click and make them a group and that's going to be my white matting layer. So I want to now create a different colour matting layer so I'm going to choose another circle. So this circle I'm going to make 2.75 inches so while it's selected I'm going to come to the properties box and using the minus key here I'm going to take this down to 2.75. And then hopefully this one will sit inside that one once I cut them in two separate pieces of card. So that's the process I went through to create the multi-layer flower for the card that I showed you at the beginning. I'm going to give the project a name and I'm going to call it Saru's Flower and W and that way I know that W was the letter I used to create this flower using this font if I ever decide I want to replicate the flower in another way. So in the next part of the video I'm going to show you the process that I went through in choosing the card to cut the flower and then put my actual finished card together. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't already do so and if you want to see how the card goes together look for part two of this video.